My grandfather was a great man. He taught me at a young age that boredom is all in your head. That uh, essentially you're only bored because you're a boring person. Whether that's right or wrong or you feel judged by that, don't, don't take it that way. What he was saying was life is infinitely interesting. Every little piece of it. There was something to be interested in. Something to be enamored by. Some curiosity that you could dive into. More stuff to learn. Anything you looked at, you could go infinitely deep on. He taught me that lesson at a very young age. He snapped at me. <laughs> I was, I don't know, eight, nine. And I told him, I'm bored, Grandpa. I'm bored. And I, I've never seen my Grandpa angry, except in that moment. Maybe it was a manufactured anger. Or maybe it wasn't heartfelt or actual anger. But he kind of snapped. He was like, boredom. Boredom's all in your head. Boredom's not real. It, it's silly to be bored. There's so many, infinite number of things you can do. I don't know if those were his exact words, given it was two decades ago. <laughs> but I think of that. I think of that quite a bit. I think about what he did with his life. Started off as a, uh, a salesman. Maybe that wasn't his first job, right? But uh, when he was having kids, my aunts and uncles and mother, he was a salesman. He'd go door to door and sell stuff. And then later he got into real estate, got his real estate license, started a little brokerage and uh, managed some properties in the valley that we grew up in. I think about the legacy he left behind, all the lessons he taught me and every one of my cousins. We had a, a large family. Um, he was a very jolly man, very kind. Always had a funny story. Always had something to tell you about some piece of carpentry he had just made. Or some... He told the same dirty joke always. And I'm not going to tell it here, but it has to do with a Scotsman and kilts and things that are gruesome. Uh, he, he was a funny guy. And I hope I'm a lot like him. And I hope that I leave a good legacy behind for my family to tell funny stories about later in life as well. I've been thinking about the sudden impact that passing away has. Some people, they're given a, a luxury or a curse of knowing when their time to expire is about to arrive. They know that things are coming to an end. They know that maybe they're about to pass on. And some people don't. Some people are very surprised by the fact that they're mortal much less that their life is at an end. And we can debate day and night about whether or not they know anything in any form of an afterlife or lack thereof. Sure, sure, sure. But it's that mental model of not knowing that I find myself coming back to, that I find myself thinking about. I almost think about mortality as um, like a fog, a gray fog that you're walking through. And for one reason or another, I always think of a semi-truck. <laughs> the semi-truck is death. Let that sink in. Why am I afraid of semi-trucks? No idea. But uh, there it is. So as you're walking through this gray fog, eventually you get hit by a semi-truck. Sometimes you don't know it's coming. Sometimes the headlights aren't on. The engine's off. It's just coasting in neutral down a hill right before it takes you out. <laughs> These are the people that had no warning before they passed on. Some people, you have a lot of heads up. You know, the engines are loud. The big old diesel engines in a semi-truck. You hear them coming for a ways away. You see the headlights in the fog before it takes you out. I don't know why I think about that. I don't know how I came up with that. It's not that deep or complex. It's just, why does my brain associate that with mortality? Walking through a gray fog. Is it the uncertainty of life? Is it the lack of guarantees? Is it not knowing exactly where you are or where you're going? You just have a vague idea of the direction you're walking in? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just my brain's answer to what my grandfather told me. That everything is infinitely interesting. <laughs> I think about that during times that are hard. I think about how to turn them around and make them interesting. Even if they're difficult, even if they're unpleasant. 
make it something worth spending your time on. Make it something memory worthy, if you will. And then I go back to the fog, thinking you don't really know what's coming next or where you're going or when that semi truck will find you. So just a small thing. I hope you're doing well. I hope whatever you're working on is, is worth your time in that fog. I hope that you're enjoying the process, finding those infinitely interesting things. I hope you're making good choices so you can live with yourself. So you can look back and smile at the adventure you had right before the semi truck hits you. Because you never know when the lights will go out. Take care of yourself. <laughs>